I can't really remember a time where music wasn't as potent and emotive as it is to me, as it is today. Um, I was always surrounded by it, so my dad was a musician, he played guitar, and my mom always had a strong interest in it because of her family, who also share it, so it's always been around, and yeah, so some of my earliest memories are in regards to music and the feelings that I remember being the most exaggerated or um, emphasized due to certain music, and uh, I always had kind of an interesting conglomerate of influences that they unconsciously put onto me. Um, my dad was, he wanted, you know, on the ride to a, a daycare, he would play Van Halen or Steve Miller or something like that, Pearl Jam. And then my mom, on, you know, if she were to drive me any given day, I'd be hearing The Smiths and Depeche Mode and um, The Police, U2, stuff like that. So I think, and, well, and then at the same rate, my nana, was always a huge Beatles fan, and she was, as was the rest of my family, but they would um, always inf put that in into my hands as a young kid. I mean, one of the first movies I remember seeing was Yellow Submarine, um, and I think as a result, all of that kind of meshed together, and it, you can hear that in what I make now. The music that I make on my own, um, the people who've listened to it have always kind of remarked at how it's either, you know, really dark or kind of melancholic or even, you know, I'll get that it's really creepy a lot. And I think that is a huge accomplishment. I don't think that's any coincidence. I, the way I've always visualized it was, you know, that the music that I make purely by myself in my own bedroom is always, it always comes unconsciously. I'm never, I mean, you could, could argue that I'm not even doing it on my own volition. It just comes naturally and the layers just build up and build up and you get this really creepy product and I think the reason it comes off as creepy to most people is because we're conditioned to not acknowledge our unconscious and it is a pure honest snapshot of my unconscious mind and I think that's where a lot of the unsettling nature comes from it <laughs> um, from people who do listen to it and I, I couldn't be more proud of that I think that's a huge accomplishment what I've come to find and use as a justification for that feeling is that the unconscious is completely, it's pure nature and we, it's been so suppressed in, in this point in, in history and I think when it does poke through it's absolutely beautiful, it completely encapsulates everything that it isn't earthly and that, that makes us what we are, what we really are and I'll always be drawn to that no matter what whether it be in art and music it'll always be prevalent